Hi guys, Mike, Mike, Mike Martin again. Right, um, this one we're just going to look at the radius targeting because we've had a few customers um, in the past get in touch regarding uh, how to target radiuses correctly. As you can see, it'll automatically target a radius of top right where it says locations here. It'll automatically target a thousand miles if that's what you've got it set to. But if you're doing this for a specific client and your client's got, for example, uh, a premises in Sacramento and he only covers within a 30 mile radius, then all you'd have to do is that yep and what will happen is you've installed just california which will keep the the the, the, the site nice and fast there's no point in installing the whole of america or the whole of the usa if you only want to cover california so what you'll do is you'll install just california and then you go in and you just select sacramento within 30 miles okay and click update and that is it then it will automatically only build pages for you within 30 miles of Sacramento, California. But then say your client comes up to you a few months down the line and says, you know what, we're opening a second office. Can you also build us a site for the second location? Right, you don't necessarily need to go off and build a second a site for a second location. You can add it to the existing site. So you'd go in and say, okay, we want, um, say we want to go San Diego. So we want to go San Diego, California. If you click that, it'll automatically set to the previous settings if you remember where there's a thousand mile radius. So they're opening an office in San Diego, California, and they want 50 mile radius down there because they can cover a bit of a further distance. But the thing is, update, and then the website now is building for every single page within a 30 mile radius of Sacramento, California, and a page for every single area within a 50 mile radius of San Diego, California. So basically your client's areas are covered. Now you can do 10, 20, 30 of these. If you cover the whole of America or the whole of the USA, you can you can have different pockets in different states. So if you think, oh, my client's opening one in Florida, you go into your settings. So we'll go over to the settings page. we we'll go back up here. It's not showing me now what we had up there before because I've already taken the API key out <laughs> because the API key, obviously, I don't want people stealing it. So what you do is where you clicked on the first video when you was installing your plugin and you installed California, all you'd need to do is install Florida, select the area from Florida that you wanted to cover. So Miami, for example, it won't show on here because we've not installed it. 30 miles and it'll automatically build all the pages to that new location. The only quick point that I would make, obviously you do have to have the cities tab on every page. If you don't have the cities tab, then you're not getting access to the never ending site map. In addition to that, if you're building a two state site, California and Florida, for example, because they're so far apart, you would need to link from somewhere on the website to a page in both of those states, so one in, in California and one in Florida. Now the reason is the 10 closest locations to, which is pulled in by the cities, won't ever bring in a Florida location if you're only linking to the California section of the site. So because obviously there's a huge gap between the two. So what you need to do is obviously make sure that you link to a, a place from, a place within both of the states. Okay, it's just a short video this one. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.